Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have four new Tervisa knives. Some are newer than others. We're going to get here and check them out. I've already unboxed them. These are just to show you what the boxes look like. They do actually come in very nice packaging, but we're going to get right in it to win it. And I hope you're having a fantastic day, baby. We're going to start out with this bad boy right here. This is the Trevisa Colombo. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its colombo -ness. Now, you know what? I, I've been saying this the last couple Trevisa videos that I like the direction they're going. They're going towards more towards, uh, I don't know, just what everyone, <laughs> what everyone seems to enjoy. Check it out. This is some very nice textured micarta. Get in there and give you a little texture vision. It is, I mean, it almost, it doesn't feel like micarta, but I know it's micarta and it, it's very grippy. Anyway, I'm just going to tell you, I really love the texture. I digress. Here is where you have a reversible deep carry clip. It is low. I mean, if you have thick pockets, it might have a little trouble grabbing and getting underneath it, depending on how thick your jeans are. It does have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade. That would have been improved by having some flat screws. So that's, that, that would be a little uh, nitpick, if you will, or just something that would have been better. Just a hair maybe just a hair to the clip side as far as our centering. And then you do have a flipping fuller, a flipper fuller. That's what I'm gonna call it. It has a flipper fuller. And you do have, look at this. Now that is what I'm talking about, Tervisa, yes. Look at this, perfect jimping going all the way around that flipper. You ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, now look at that. Tell me, how can you go wrong? Neutral ergos, check this out. You see that? Nice pass through. And I'm telling you now, the pass through is fantastic. And zooming in, checking out this blade. Look at that satin finish, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I believe there's three different versions of this. And this is a budget knife. This is under 40, uh, under 50 bucks. This is in like the upper 40s range. And then you do not have a sharpening choil. This does have a captive pivot with cage ceramic ball bearings. And then here's a look at this pass through. Look at this. So smooth, so easy. I don't have to dig my thumb. I appreciate that. That is one thing that if a knife has that, I'm automatically giving it two points just because of that. And then looking on the inside, you can see it's really uh, what milled out. It's lightweight. This large knife only weighs 3.55 ounces. It's 8.38 inches from tip to tip and it has a 3.74 inch blade, three and three quarter inch blade. That is no joke for a blade. And look at this, for your ergos, oh my goodness, the ergos are, they're money. Five stars for the ergos, they feel so good. XL hands, you got it made in the shade, you're good to go. It feels very nice in the hand. The action, look at that, drop shutty action. They absolutely nailed it with this knife. For under 50 bucks, 14C 28N blade steel, and you can reverse flick it. I love the reverse fuller. That is very nice. It's easy to get in there, and look at that. Check it out. So you can use your thumb, you can reverse flick it, you can flip it till your heart's content. So this is not only a functional knife, a very comfortable knife, a larger knife. I like that. That's a kind of a more classic looking drop point blade. Beautiful little swedge action up there. It has a strong tip. It's not, it's not a splinter getter, but it's not, you know, it's not super thick. It's, it's just right. It's just right. This, this is good. This is a winner. I mean, an absolute winner. I, I mean, what could I say for the price point for 46, 48 bucks? This is a really good knife. Now, let me show you a unique knife that just came out. Now, this one is a Higanakami style, a Japanese style knife. And I like it. I like, I like it. I, I, I think these are really cool. Now, I do have a couple things to mention about this flipper coming out so, so far. And then this is something different. For all of you folks that are always asking me, when are they going to come out with knives that are tip down carry? Yes, there are a lot. Lot of folks that want a tip down carry. Well, here you go. This is your only option to carry it tip down on the right side. This one does have very nice, very, very nice micarta. Look at that. Gene micarta. That is so good. And it has a lanyard hole. It's nice and clean. There's no back spacer. It has a captive pivot and cage ceramic ball bearings. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Check it out. Kind of looks like a pelican, or no, almost kind of like a seagull. But this is the Norma. Look at that. Now you could get this. You can get this all blacked out, or I don't know. There's three or four different colors, but you can get the blacked out version with the black blade. I believe it's black stonewashed. And then coming up here and taking a look, 
This does not have a sharpening choil. It does have the captive pivot though. And then as far as your pass through, the pass through is very easy. Now, uh, I'm gonna tell you, show you a couple things and then tell you, uh, I don't know if they're nitpicks or the, if it's what's to be expected. It's very lightweight. You can, this only weighs 3.1 ounces, which is very impressive. The, the grip, the ergos on it aren't bad. It's a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's narrow this direction and this direction. So I'm, I'm not used to it. It's a little different with it being more narrow. If you had XL hands, this might be a tad small for you depending, depending on how you hold the knife. It is comfortable. And then coming up here and look and check that out. Has a crown spine, baby. So it's a good looking knife. Here's the only thing that I'm not used to because I don't typically carry this Higatakami style blades. This one in particular with that extra long flipper, when I go to disengage it, you have to reach around. Cause this, now speaking of reach around, yeah, I said reach around. If you're down, if you don't hold your the knife farther down like this, and you hold it up farther up here, you're gonna come around and you're gonna hit your hand. You're not gonna get it all the way open. So that's something to keep in mind when you have this knife, is if you're gonna open it like this style, you have to have your hand way back down here. But the most comfortable for me with this knife has been opening it from the top. That's extremely easy. That's one of the easiest over the top flippers that you'll ever get. So if you have trouble with those over the top flips, uh, get you one of these and you'll be like, hey, I can do it. <laughs> Look what I can do. Yeah, I just said that. So it's very easy to open from the top and it, it's very smooth. It has very smooth action. This way right here, I just have to concentrate and have my hand really far down. So I don't know if that's a nitpick or just something you're used to with this style of knife or if that's just typically how you open this style. Now, when I'm holding it, the grip, I can feel the top edge. It's not, it's not hateful, it's not a deal breaker or anything, but I can feel the top edge. I'm not used to feeling a pocket clip up in my hand, but on the other hand, there's no pocket clip down here to get into your hand or dig into your hand. So holding it in the traditional grip like this, it's comfortable. This is gonna be really good for doing some utility cut work. Oh yeah, look at that. It's very comfortable, nice neutral handle, and it does have a lanyard hole for all you lanyard lovers. It's a good looking knife, it's different, and if you like the Japanese style knife and you want a tip up carry, or what is it, tip down? <laughs> tip down, I'm not used to saying that, tip down, then the Trevisa Norma might be something interesting. By the way, all of these knives that I'm showing you, they will be linked in the description and in the comment section where you can go check them out. You don't have to use my link to buy them. If you do, I appreciate it. I might get a little kickback, uh, however small it might be from Amazon. Doesn't cost you anything, just helps support the channel. Now, let's get this next one. I've shown you one version of this next one, and I have a new version now. This is the Trevisa Boaties. This is the new one. <laughs> I picked them both up. This is the Trevisa Boaties. It's spelled like booties. <laughs> There's just no why. Check it out. This is the first version I showed you all. And I've talked about this one on the live stream. Whenever someone come, brings up, I, I, they want a small knife or they want a five, fifth pocket knife, this is another one that Trevisa, I'm like, yes, yes. This is what people want. This is what I want. <laughs> I like these style of knives and I like what they do with the pass through. They give you adequate room. They put a little bit of milling on the inside right there. See that right there? Almost kind of clamshell looking. This is just another version to show you. This one is the JG10 in the blacked out look. And you could, you, well, you could get two or three of them and swip, swip, swap the parts all around. This is the comfortable, very flippable, very nice fifth pocket carry. It's a small knife, it's not large at all. And if you wanna see, it's a three finger knife like this. This is one you could actually pocket drop. And man, I'm telling you, I love, love, love this knife. It is, it's really good. And you can also reverse flick it very easily. I like the blade shape on it. It's 14C, 28 in blade steel, baby. And check it out, let's get in here and take a little look-see, look at that. Isn't that cool? And here's a look at your texture. A little bit of texture vision on that JG10. I like these. The, the knife itself is 5.44 inches long. It has a 3.12, uh, it's 3.12 inches closed and it has a 2.32 inch blade. So 2.3 inch blade. It's not a big one. And right now, I looked it up before I made this video. There's a coupon that you get these for around 38 bucks. And I think for what you get for 38 bucks, it's fantastic. It doesn't have a sharpening choil, no big deal for this particular knife. This is a great knife that anyone, large and small, big and tall, small and fat and skinny, 
I don't know. It, this is a good knife that anyone's going to enjoy. And it's actually going to serve most of the purposes that you do for everyday carry tasks. You know, open up boxes, breaking down the little bits of this and that. Brian breaks off of a cart. No, no, don't do that. But let me check out the next one. Last but certainly not least, a very UniQ, very UniQ, another Higanakami style. This is the Trevisa Kira. Would you look at it? Just look at it. This makes me think of like, a, I don't know, a race car or maybe a cardinal bird and he has the his crest back and he's like sitting back in a, a toboggan going down a hill like, shoom, <laughs> I digress. This is, is bone and then this is a uh, titanium alloy. Check it out. And of course, it has a very nice pivot collar and this is a captive pivot. You do have ceramic bar bearings in there. And this one is the same story as the last one I talked about as far as opening it. And But wait till you see this blade. Oh yeah, this blade right here looks very, very cool. Check that out. Look at that. That is very cool. I like this. I can't remember what the steel is. Um, if you go, if you go on the website or if you go on the link, it tells you what the steel is, but you can see that it has a core right on the ins inside there. See that? I like that look. It's kind of, you know, it just looks like a, a Japanese style knife. I really like that. You can see where it's folded all throughout and it's, it's not even, it has a very nice pattern, but this one also has a good pass through. It's super smooth. I mean, it's delicately smooth. It feels good in the hand. When you open it like that, if your hand's up here, you're gonna be hitting that. This one, um, it's the same story. You just wanna make sure that you're holding the knife down far enough if you're gonna front flip it like that. But this way, with this way right here, when I have a knife like this, that's how I prefer to handle it. Oh, now here, check this out. This one does not have a pocket clip. So it the ergos, I mean, the ergos are gonna be great for anyone. Anyone is going to appreciate how this knife feels in your hand. So it's right hand, left hand carry, whatever you prefer. Here is the sheath that comes with it. And there's a little hole right here where when you put it in the sheath, it makes it, look at that, isn't that cool? And you could clip this, I guess, you can clip this on your belt or whatever you want to. And it holds it in there very sturdy, so there's no, there's no problems with that. And it does look like real leather. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So if you want a knife that doesn't have a pocket clip, you want something different, and you like this style of blade, you like this style of knife, and man, I love this blade shape. This is, oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. You're gonna be able to do, I mean, this is one, if you like to do fine cutting, meticulous cutting, this is gonna work for you. And the top looks very nice. It's just taken off enough. It's not sharp. Uh, the uh, spine isn't too sharp. It's not hateful. Definitely a very cool knife to have in the collection. Oh, there you go. There's your blade steel. <laughs> that's, that's the core of the blade steel right there, SKD11. And I'm having trouble focusing because my focus needs more focus. There you go. So there's four knives from Trevisa. I wanna know which one's your favorite. If you could have one right now, or if I gave one away in the live stream, which one would you prefer to get? I like them all. I think they're all different. I do have a couple favorites out of the bunch. See if you can guess what my favorites are. Leave a comment and also don't forget to hit the like button because that supports the channel. And if you wanna use my links, that supports the channel too, but you don't have to. All you gotta do is just hang out. Come and hang out Friday nights, Bees Blades, live at the Hive. Oh, right. You don't wanna miss that because we do giveaways every Friday night. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And I'll see you in the chats and the lives and in the Hive stream. And remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.